Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths Primary video on proportion. In this video, we're going to look at some different proportion questions. So our first one, four pens cost £1.20. How much would five pens cost? Well, in a question like this, it can be very useful to find the price of one item or one pen. So to do that, you divide the total price, £1.20, by how many pens there are, which is four. So we're going to do 1.20, or 120 pence, divided by four. So four into one doesn't go, so we write zero, remainder one. 4 into 12 goes 3 times, and 4 into 0 is 0. So 1 pen costs 30 pence. Now to find the price of 5 pens, we just need to times 30 by 5. So we're going to do 30 times 5. Okay, well 30 times 5 would be 150. And so our answer would be 1 pound 50. And that's it. So in a question like this, it can be useful to find the price of one item by dividing the total price by how many pens there are, how many items there are, and then times it by how many you want to find the price of. So we wanted to find the price of five pens, so we just done 30 times by five, and five times zero is zero, and five times three is 15. So the answer would be 150 pence or 1.50. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So our next question says, on Monday, Tia works five hours and is paid 40 pound. On Tuesday, Tia works three hours. How much is Tia paid on Tuesday? So what, let's work out how much money Tia is paid for each hour she works. So we know on Monday, she works five hours and she gets 40 pound. So if we do 40 pound divided by five, we'll find how much money she gets for each hour. So 40 divided by five is eight. So Tia earns eight pound for each hour or per hour. Okay, so for each hour's work, Tia um, earns eight pound. So to find how much money she gets on Tuesday, we just need to do eight times by three. So eight pound times by three would be equal to 24 pound. So on Tuesday, Tia earned, or Tia is paid 24 pound. So our next question says, on a map, one centimeter represents five kilometers, and the distance between two towns is 20 kilometers. On the map, what is the distance between the two towns? So we know that one centimeter equals or is or represents five kilometers. So we're trying to find out how many centimeters 20 kilometers would be. So let's just carry on the sort of the pattern here. One centimeter is equal to five kilometers. Two centimeters then would be equal to 10 kilometers. Three centimeters would be equal to 15 kilometers. And four centimeters would be equal to 20 kilometers. Now there was a bit of a quicker way to do that. If we had just taken the 20 kilometers and divided it by five, we'd see that would be four centimeters. So the answer is four centimeters, okay? And you can do it either by just considering what the sort of the scale is. One centimeter is so many kilometers or miles and just sort of work it out from there. Or you can either work it out by dividing or multiplying. So in this question, we knew what five kilometers was. It was one centimeter. So if we'd done 20 divided by five, we'd see how many centimeters the 20 kilometers would be. Okay, so the next question says, on a map, one centimeter represents 10 miles. So that's our scale, one centimeter equals 10 miles on the, the map. Uh, the distance between two towns in real life is 140 miles, so 140 miles. And we wanna figure out how many centimeters that would be. Well, for every 10 miles, it's one centimeter. So if we divide this by 10, 140 divided by 10, we will figure out how many centimeters that will be. So 140 divided by 10 would be equal to 14. So on the map, it would be equal to 14 centimeters, and that's it. So the answer is 14 centimetres. Okay, our last question says, for every three 50p coins has, Alan's got five 20p coins. So for every three 50p coins, he's got five 20p coins. And Alan has six pound in 20p coins. And the question asks us to work out how much money Alan has altogether. So what I'm gonna do is work out how much, uh, how many 20p coins Alan has to begin with, because we know that he's got six pound, and that's in 20p coins, okay? So what we're gonna do is we can actually, work, we can work this out two different ways. We could divide 600 pennies by 20p. So do 600 divided by 20. So 20 into six doesn't go, remainder six. 20 into 60 goes three times and 20 into zero goes zero. So we know that he's got 30 20p coins times 20p coins. Um, Another way we could have done it was we could have worked out in one pound, there's five 20p coins. So that means that in six pound, five times six would be 30 also. So that's another way to work out how many 20p coins he has altogether. So we know that Alan's got 30 20p coins. 
But we want to know how much money he's got all together. So really what we need to do is work out how many 50p coins he has as well. So we know that for every 520p coins, he's got three 50p coins. So 520p's, so we look at the 20p's and 50p's. So for 520p's, he's got three 50p's. That means for 10 20p's, he would have six 50p's. For 15, he would have nine. For 20, he would have 12 because he, what I'm doing is I'm adding on five 20 p's and adding on three to 50 p's and just sort of carrying on this pattern. For 25 20 p's, he would have 15 50 p's. And finally, for 30 50, uh, 20 p's, he would have 18 50 p's. So we know that he's got 30 20 p's and we know that that's equal to six pound altogether, but we need to work out how much money he's got in 50 p's. Now he's got 18 50 p's. Now 250 p's is a pound. So two is a pound. So that means if we divide it by two, we'll see how many pounds he's got. So 18 divided by two is nine. He's got nine pound and 50 p's. Okay, because each two, you know, 250 p's is a pound. So if you were to go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, he'd have one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound, six pound, seven pound, eight pound, nine pound. Or you could have just divided it by two and seen that he's got nine pound. So six pound plus nine pound is equal to 15 pound. So altogether, Alan's got 15 pound. And that's it.